Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. And um, in one of the things that I will be doing uh, now from now on is I am actually issuing all security updates for every type of operating system and devices on this channel since it is now dedicated to, of course, Windows, but at large, you know, technology. So, hey, if you have an iPhone or an iPad, and I know that uh, it's not because you're a Windows user that you don't have one of those, um, there's a, a pretty big zero day happening right now. So, um, Apple has released a um, new update for iOS 15. So, you should be at 15.0.2. It fixes a zero day vulnerability that is already actively exploited in the wild for iPhones and iPads. And so um, that means that they could actually issue uh, a memory corruption that makes them able to execute kernel level commands. That means they can just do what they want. Uh, when, they, uh, when you get to kernel level commands, as I mean, you can run any type of uh, commands and just uh, treat the phone the way you want it, uh, break it, do whatever they want. Uh, of course, spy on you and so on. It is known to be exploited. There has been proof of attacks. And so this is very important to fix. And even more important, if you use your iPads or your phone sometimes on public Wi-Fi, uh, it's really important to uh, make sure that you actually fix this flaw on Apple devices. And while we're at it, make sure that also if you have a Mac computer that you are updated to the latest version of the operating system that you are using as there are quite a lot of zero day vulnerabilities this year, including a few that were disclosed in the last month or two that are also exploited in the wild or zero days. And uh, three of them are actually been disclosed and uh, the uh, the guy that uh, the researcher that actually found them um, is, was not happy that Apple was just not doing anything about it. You know, we talk about Microsoft sometimes ranting. We can rant a lot about Apple's carelessness in fixing things. So um, this is showing that, uh, you know, every device is vulnerable when not uh, patched and including right now the iPhones and iPads. I mean, you, you can have memory corruption and a uh, kernel level command that means they do what they want there's no more box you know sandboxing like ios usually does so 15.0.2 is where you should be make sure that you update your system if you enjoy our videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching